Welcome and good evening. Our spooky story takes place in the town of Ghostly. Our hero is the intrepid skeleton reporter Dirk Bones. This is the mystery of the missing book. Hello, how may I help you? Hello, I am Dirk Bones, a reporter for the newspaper, The Ghostly Tombs. I am here to write a story about Edgar Bleak, the author of Spooky Books. That's me. Please, come inside. Thank you. My readers would like to know where you get the ideas for your stories. The town of Ghostly is very spooky. It gives me a lot to write about. Do you have a new book coming out? Yes, let me show it to you. I have the only copy until it is in the bookstores. Edgar Bleak led Dirk into his writing room. Edgar looked on his desk. It's not here. Maybe I've misplaced it. I'll help you look for it. So they looked in the closets and the cupboards, in the bookcase and even in the bathtub, but no book. Oh dear, do you think my book was stolen? Maybe. Just then, Dirk spied a wet leaf on the floor next to an open window. Huh, this is a strange leaf. It might be a clue to the missing book. Maybe I can find a picture of it in a book at the library. At the Ghostly Town Library, Dirk looked through 36 books of plants and leaves, but did not find one picture of the strange leaf. At the Ghostly Library, the librarian, Miss Elsa, notices Dirk and approaches him. What brings you here, Dirk? A mystery. I have a mystery too. Somebody steals books from the library. What kind of books have been stolen? It's very odd. Only books from Edgar Bleak. Mr. Bleak has a book missing from his house tonight. Could someone have taken all the books? I also found this. It was next to the bookshelf. She held up a leaf, just like the one Dirk had found. These leaves are an important clue. Maybe the bookstore has books about plants. I must solve this mystery. The bookstore was on the other side of town, so Dirk decided to take a shortcut through the green lagoon. He walked through the tall, wet grass. Something moved in the water. He turned. A dark, dripping shape climbed out of the lagoon. It moved closer and closer. Bless you, Darlene. My home here in the swamp is so wet. I always get the sniffles. So what brings you here, Dirk? Trying to solve a mystery. Some books are missing. I have not seen any books, but lately I hear strange noises. They sound like voices. Have you ever seen a leaf like this? But Darlene did not answer. She jumped back into the lagoon. Dirk turned to see a huge vine rise out of the tall grass. The vine was covered with the strange leaves. The vine slithered like a big snake into the town of Ghostly. Dirk ran after it. It wriggled into the bookstore, grabbed a book, and slithered back to the lagoon. It was very fast. The vine disappeared. Dirk looked all around, but the tall grass hid everything. Just then, 
Dirk heard a sound. It sounded like a voice. You scared me. You scared me. Who are you? Lenore, I am a very rare creepus crawler Where do you come from? When I was a little seed, the wind blew me from that faraway mountain. I planted myself here. It's cool and wet. Perfect for my roots and leaves. Why are you stealing books by Edgar Bleak? I just borrowed them. I, 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 I promised to give them back them after I read them to my children. My children. Mr. Mr. Bleak, Bleak is, is their favorite author. Your children? Dirk looked down to see five little flowers pop out of the ground. We love spooky stories. This gives me an idea for a story for my newspaper. The next day, the front page of the ghostly tombs read, Reporter gets library card for plant. Now my kids will always have spooky 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 stories. The library is the best place for budding readers. Even budding flowers.